Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ravenclaw Anime bringing you a quick tutorial on how to make stocking sword. Um, now, oops. now, I've made stocking sword. I made this for free. I didn't have to go out and buy anything to make her sword. And it's actually pretty dang sturdy. There's a, some oops, but that's okay. Um, but I wanted to make this tutorial because one, I got asked a lot how I did it, and two, um, on top of being asked on how I did it, um, and just the sturdiness of it, um, I also got asked, like, you know, was it cheap, was it expensive, things like that, um, and literally I made this, like, in two days. Um, I had a con coming up and stocking was almost finished except I didn't have her weapon. I had a friend that was making her sword for me, but it fell through. So I went online and I looked everywhere. And um, so I'm just gonna go through like this video and just kind of tell you guys my process on making the sword, um, like time wise and how much, how long it would take, things like that. Um, so the materials you'll need is you'll need cardboard. Um, you'll need two pieces of it. Um, I literally took apart um, like a trifold that I had and um, the flaps I um, made the basic shape on the on, on each flap make sure that when you make the shapes that they're opposite so that they fit together um, so you're gonna need a big piece of cardboard or you can just get a trifold and use the flaps is what I did um, you're gonna need like a dowel or some kind of rod of sorts um, I literally made this last minute, um, and I had a picture frame, so you can see here, picture frame, um, and this is what I used for the center of it to make it nice and sturdy. You're also going to need masking tape, so like scotch tape, like regular tape that you would use to like paint your house, um, you know when you want to, when you don't want to paint over something and things like that, so you definitely want to get uh, masking tape. You also want to get the paint whatever paint you need. Choose something that's waterproof, something that doesn't smear. I had limited resources, so I only had what was available here on campus. So, um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you cut out your sword shape out of, like, the art of the cardboard. Don't do it with scissors, because your hands will kill you if you attempt to do it with scissors. Um, use a box cutter to cut out your shape. Um, again, I was on limited resources. I literally, I live on um, my college campus, so I had scissors and cardboard. So, and I even cut out the hilt using cardboard. Um, as you can see, stockings hilt is a little bit, it's not the best in the world, but it works. Um, and it, yeah, be careful. So, once you do that, um, you're going to stick your dowel in the middle. You're going to mask tape the dowel to one side. I actually just took this picture frame and I cut it in half. And I stuck one half of it against the inside of it. So it's literally going from the hit, from the handle all the way near the top. Um, and you're going to mask that. You're going to mask tape that to the inside of your sword. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your masking tape again and you're gonna close the edges with the masking tape. I would do it vertically if you're gonna close your uh, sword. Um, as you can see here, see there, it's gone, I've done it vertically. So it gives it a nice smooth finish. Um, it's not gonna be perfect. The sword won't be perfect. It's literally, it's quick. It's easy now if you want to go to a carpenter and you want to spend all that money on a carpenter um yeah um you can pay all that money this this was last month so after you've done that you're gonna cover the entire thing in masking tape go vertically do not go horizontally unless you want uneven and it's not gonna look great it's gonna look horrible so do it vertically and um, make sure they cover the hilt as well because we're going to paint over that. So once you've got it all masked, taped all the way down, you can kind of 
See, I mean, I, you know, it's not the most perfect sword in the world. I, I apologize. Um, but it's all been mass taped together. After I mass taped it together, I painted the whole thing in white one side, waited for that to dry, and then painted the other side in white, and waited for that side to dry. Painted the hilt while I waited for that to dry. Painted the hilt, and then I just took a pencil and I literally marked down the, the stripes, her stripes, um, before going over them in paint and painting over them, making them look as decent as I possibly, possibly could. Um, and um, make sure that it's fully dry before you attempt to pick it up. So you, I can pick it up. It's pretty, it's pretty dang sturdy. Um, the whole process took about eight hours. Um, it took me two hours to cut out the cardboard. It probably will take you less um, if you're really determined. Um, took me two hours to cut out the cardboard to make it look like I wanted to with her hilt and stuff. It was really fat. Um, so, yeah. I do a mock-up. Do like a mock, like before you even cut it out, do like a, on a separate sheet of cardboard or whatever, do a mock-up of it. Um, the, for, um, the hardest part of it, honestly, was the hilt. And my recommendation is if you're not using like a smear proof paint or something, make sure that you put the hilt on first and then paint over it um, so that you have nice even and things like that. The hilt, um, literally you take the same box cutter and you cut it out the middle and you make sure that it slides right up um, on the sword. You can also use like a, this kind of dowel and then attach cardboard. So if you want to make like a scythe, you could do the same method. Um, it's just a little bit different, but it's kind of the same thing. So you take like a long uh, wooden dowel or whatever, make your scythe out of cardboard, stick a dowel to make sure that's sturdy, cover the whole thing in masking tape, and then paint it whichever way you wanted to. Um, but when you're done, hopefully, if all goes well, you have stocking sword. It's not the most perfect thing in the world. I'm actually pretty proud of this. It's not perfect. And I have very many flaws. It was my first prop, but I wanted to show you, show you guys and share with you guys how to make it for cheap, under a budget. Um, honestly, if you're going to go out and buy cardboard, you can actually even go into like Walmart and ask them, do you have any cardboard? They probably would give it to you. Paint will run you 5 to $6 or whatever, even if you just spray paint it. Um, pencil, you need a pencil. Um, box cutter. I mean, it's pretty dang cheap. You can probably make this for under $20, quite honestly. But I hope that you guys enjoyed my tutorial. And I hope that it helps in making stocking sword. I will be posting links to progress photos down below so that you get an idea of what everything looks like as you're putting it together. And um, I can't wait to post another video. Bye.